Magandang araw po sa ating lahat mga kaibigan. Salamat po ulit at andito po tayo para uh, ang pag-uusapan po natin sa oras na ito ay ang tungkol po sa repentance. Ayan. Holy Bible, Holy Bible. Ayan po, nakadisplay po ang Biblia para sa atin. Ayan, so repentance po ang topic natin sa umagang ito. Okay, so uh, what is repentance? The action of repenting, sincere regret or remorse. Okay, so each person who turns to God in genuine repentance and faith will be saved. Okay, so let's go on. So makikita po natin ang meaning of repentance. Uh, in the book of Luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 24. Okay, so let's read Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 24. Okay, start po natin. Verse 11. And he said, There was a man who had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that is coming to me. And he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country, and there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country who sent him into his fields to feed pigs and he was longing to be fed with with the pods that the pigs ate and no one gave him anything but when he came to him but when he came to himself he said how many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread but i perish here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hard servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still along the way, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring the fattened calf and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For this is my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Okay, so that is uh, Luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 24. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so in verse 12, it says here, here, uh, the self-will, self-will, give me my inheritance. Okay, so, yun po ang ginawa ng isang anak, self-will. He said, give me my inheritance. Number two, separation. Journey to a far country. Ayan, the son was separated from his father. So, number one is self-will. Number two, this is the picture of sin. There are five pictures of sin na makikita po natin sa story na to. Number one is self-will. He said to his father, give me my inheritance. And number two, separation. Journey to a far country. Uh, that, that we will see that in chapter, in verse 13. The son was separated from his father. Number three, West. Wasted his possessions. 
Sin is wasting the possessions that God has given. So that is three, number three picture of sin. And number four, in one. He began to be in one. In verse 13, 14. A sinner is always one thing, but is never satisfied. Yeah, in one, number four, po, picture of sin. Number five, sunk so low. He becomes so hungry, he could have eaten pig's food. Yan. Uh, we ke, makikita po natin doon sa verse 15 and 16. Sin will bring the sinner down so very low. The devil comes to the sinner in order to kill, to steal, and to destroy. We can find that on Chan 10.10. 10. Chan 10.10. 10. The devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Chan 10.10. 10. Okay, so. Uh, steps to repentance. There are five steps to repentance. Repentance. So, number one step of repentance is realization. He, he came to himself. The sinner realized and admits his sinful conditions. Ayan. Okay, kita po natin in verse 17. Realization. He realized that he sins against God and to his father. Number two is decision. I will arise. The sinner decides to get out of his sins. Ayan, decision. That is number two steps of repentance. Step two, repentance. Number three, carrying out the decision. And he arose. The sinner carried out the decision by leaving his sin. Ayan, carrying out the decisions. Ayan, nag-decide po siya na umalis na sa kanyang kasalanan. Ayan po, nagkasala po siya kasi kinastos niya lahat ng binigay ng tatay niya. Ayan, so that's number three steps to repentance. Number four is returning. And he came to the Father. In verse 20, the sinner returns to God by surrendering his life to the Lord. Ayan, returning. Ayan, pag pumalik po tayo sa Panginoon, Ayan, masaya po ang Panginoon. We have to surrender again our life unto the Lord. And that is number four, is steps to repentance, returning. Magbalik po tayo sa Panginoon. And number five is confession. Father, I have sinned. Okay, so na-realize po niya, kaya sabi niya, Father, I have sinned. The sinner admits his sins before God. Okay, so that is confession. And in First John 1 John 1.9, he's uh, saying he's the, here that who is faithful and just to forgive our sins. Okay, so John, 1 John 1.9, basahin po natin. 1 John 1.9, sabi po dito, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ayan, ganyan po, kabuti ang ating Diyos. He is always just to forgive us our sins. As long as we decide, uh, we come to realize that we have sinned. Okay, so, uh, ito po ang topic natin. Ito po ang, it is about repentance. Yeah, the story of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 24. Ayan po. Makikita po natin doon yung meaning of repentance. Ayan, sa story na to, dito po natin makikita yung complete. Nung bumalik po yung anak na lumayo, ayan, nagpakumbaba po siya. Humingi siya ng tawad sa kanyang ama at pinatawad siya ng kanyang ama. At pati po ang Panginoon, pinatawad din siya. So, ganun po ang about repentance. Yan, picture of sin, self-will, separation, west, in one, sang solo. Ayan po. 
yun po ang picture of sin na nakita natin doon sa story na to. Uh, so, steps to repentance. Paano po? Paano po natin gawin yung repentance? Realization. Yan. When we realize that we are sin. And we decide. Ayan, number two, decision. Number one is realization. Number two is decision. We already decided to go back to our Father. Number three is carrying out the decision. Ayan, we have to carry that. We have to go. Ayan. Kaya po ng story. Story ng prodigal son na umuwi siya. On his way, go back. Nare-realize na niya. He's carrying his decision na. I already decided to go back and ask forgiveness to my father. Ayan. Number four po is returning. Ayan. The sinner returns to God by surrendering his life to the Lord. Ayan. Returning. Ayan. Magbalik loob po tayo sa ating Panginoon. Kaya po nang ginawa ng ano, isang anak na ito. Bumalik po siya. Hindi po siya nahiya. Ayan. Confession. Ayan. I, Father, I have sin. We have to confess our sins. But na-realize po natin na nagkasala tayo. Ayan. Confess our sins to our Lord. To our Lord. And He is there just to forgive us. In 1 John 1.9. Kaya yan. Ito po ang uh, ating uh, topic about repentance. At sana po may naka nakatulong po ito sa ating Ayan. So maraming salamat ulit po sa iyong panunood, pakikinig po sa story ng prodigal son. And may God bless us all. Thank you and have a good day.